Don't lose your way. So I guess first we'll we'll start with the uh, circuit break. Uh, so the circuit breaks comes with two promo cards. Let's see what we got. Um, so awesome. So we actually got a Wing Dragon Ross Spear Mode. This is actually a card that was pretty expensive for this reprint. We got a Lockout Gardener, which is a neat card. But um, anyway, so we're gonna open some circuit break here. So I was actually trying to find Extreme Force. Um, oh, but I figured it'd be kind of best to um, just just to, you know, since I had the leftover money and I, and I really couldn't find one, but like. I feel like it was just better to do this. So, actually, let's see if I can focus here. All right, yeah, there we go. So we have a Deflect Compiler, a FA Whip Crosser, a Crawler Gungala, and an X Crawler Synopsis, and a Gateway Dragon for our Super Rare. So not the best, but it's a start, I guess. So we have a Hallow Hallow. Really neat, I like one of my favorite promo cards. Um, Crawler Axon, Dark Angel, and uh, Altergeist Conquiry. So the Altergeist stuff has actually been kind of pricey because the deck's actually been doing decently in the OCG and Multifaker is a really, really good card. I'm probably gonna actually um, intro show you guys kind of a little deck because I think it's really kind of neat. So in this set, we actually got the Amazonas cards, I believe. So that's the Pet Liger. These are, these are like the anime cards. We got the FA Cross Whip and it's Rocket. Oh, nice, a secret rare, wow. So we got a Squib Draw. Um, Maybe my luck is changing, because normally with these special editions, I think in all the years I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh, which is since like 2014, I've gotten special editions, and I never pull good from them, so hopefully we're breaking that. Uh, then we have the X-Crawler, a FA Pit Stop, an Ojama Duo, and, ooh, yeah, cool, Kaleida Chick. I actually love Luna Lights. I think I'm, I'm actually thinking about building the deck, so um, it's just a really cool little deck, and um, it's kind of just... just well, it's not a shame, really, but it just the deck somewhat misses the Azu cards because being able to search the whole deck with Broad Bull is pretty nice. So we have a Self Destruct Ant, a World Legacy Ponds, a Goki Headbat, really neat little card for Gokis, Burning Bamboo Sword, and ah, this Executor. That's okay. And we have a Vendred Reunion, a Sniffer Dragon, and a. So, not too bad. I think pulling a Secret Rare, I can't really complain. Um. It's obviously not the best secret rare. Ideally, we'd have Borrowload or Evenly Matched, but... Um, so, the Kaiba Collection has, I believe, three Mega Packs, like the usual here, and then the three promo and the promo cards. The only thing that really bugs me about this set is that the promo cards are actually in the set as secret rares, I believe. So, in your secret rare slots where you might have pulled a Gospel or, you know, Dragon Ravine or something you'd want, you've got the promo cards. So, it's definitely something I'm not a huge fan of. We have Goddess of Sweet Revenge. Is our promo the King of D? Not the best card, but it's kind of neat what it can search. We have a Destruction Dragon. Really good card here, Dragon Revival Rhapsody and a Loop Destruction. I mean, it's not a, it's a good card, but I feel like the problem with it is you kind of have to play odd things to set it up. Um, I was watching uh, Ryan's deck profile and like he was playing, or to make this live, he was playing a Kashuk Magician, which isn't bad, but you kind of have to make weird plays to make it live. So that's the only unfortunate thing I think about the card. The card is. The card is good, but it's like, you know, it could be better. So, for our first pack, we have made the Eyes of Blue, a Fiend Sanctuary, a match with the Eyes of Blue, actually looking pretty good. Oh, yeah, another Droll Knockbird, nice. So, I actually pulled one in my first box. This actually isn't the first one I've opened, so I have a whole play set of supers already, but the Ultras, you know, the Ultras do look quite nice, I believe, you know. I would argue this card's ban worthy, but it's never a good bad card to have in your collection. We have a Castle of Dragon Souls, Ring of Defense, like stupid card. Direct Destruction, we have a Warrior Elimination, I think it's a Ultra. Ooh, nice, Dragon Spirit of White and a Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Spirit Dragon's looking really nice in Secret Rare. Um, I remember, like, when the Blue Eyes stuff first came out, I pulled a bunch of it, and I ended up trading it for, like, a play set of, like, Ultimate First Forbidden Chalices, and I I traded them a few months ago, but those things were, like, you know, $40, $50 at one point, so it's kind of crazy. <laughs> we have a Silver Cry and Ancient Rules, a Deck Devastation Fires. I'm actually building uh, this deck um, via the new... Uh, Lair of Darkness and Infernoid, so kind of a neat card to have. Um, I actually, I don't even think I have a hollow version of this card, come to remember. So, a uh, Virus Cannon, we have a Vampire. Oh, baby! Woo! Holy shit, we did it, boys! This actually completes my Ash Blossom playset. 
<laughs> I, I, I know, like, the others are secret rares, but god damn. I apologize for the noise. I think it's, uh, they're doing some lawn work or something. If you guys hear that, apologize for that. But being, like, and another Bee Buster Drake. I actually, this is actually my second bush, but Ash Blossom Baby. Oh, yeah. I was telling my friends, I was like, bless my nags. <laughs> no nags here, boys. So we have a, for our secret rares, we have Ultra Strengths, a Dragon Tonics. Then we're getting to our Ultras, so we have... Heavy Mech, a bunch of Vanillas, a Rider Stormwinds, a Shrink, and for our, and then, oh nice, a Bilza! Um, I actually already have the, um, Gold Rare, but I really do like how the Secret Rare, Secret Rare is obviously, you know, the old, that, like, gross Gold Rare rarity. And then we have Melody Rick and Dragon, it's a pretty, like, cool card, so, overall I think it's a pretty cool opening for you guys. Um, it's not something I do all the time, but if you do guys do want to see more openings, just, um, let me know down in the comments section below. I don't like doing them all the time, so I feel like it's oversaturated, but, anyways, I gotta, I'll go ahead and end the video here, because I know it's, my guys hear a little background noise, but anyway guys, as always, like, thank you guys for watching, this is Orstorm, signing out.